then what is sexual harassment what are the different kinds of sexual harassment what is the remedy available to the woman then where does she go to file a complaint what should be mentioned in the complaint what is the timeline when in, in which she has to file the complaint who can file the complaint in case she is physically incapacitated or mentally incapacitated or where the complainant is dead what is the internal committee what does it do how will it handle the com complaint what is reconciliation post reconciliation what is done the agreement is signed etc etc all those things we cover and once the inquiry is over uh, you know what is the punishment so once the inquiry is over there are three findings one is its person is it is proved or it is not proved or it is inconclusive it is also possible it could be a false complaint now just because a woman is not able to prove it does not mean it is a false complaint so we talk about this we also talk about what are the various punishments which are available under the act that is one also about the compensation which is payable so and we also discuss the various cases where supposing somebody has filed a false complaint what has been the penalty so it is compulsory that you talk about all those six plus you also talk about what is appeal in within how much time does the appeal have to be filed so when you talk about this act and you're doing an awareness sessions you have to cover end to end so that the person who's filing a complaint doesn't is completely aware of what is the repercussion and in case of the person is not satisfied what is the way available for that person so we cover end to end completely we will not cover what we will not cover is how the ic will take up the complaint what are the various steps that the ic has to follow what are the various biases that the ic can have all those things the nitty gritty of handling the complaint is not covered under the employee awareness that is covered under the ic training but otherwise you know from filing a complaint to what is the conclusion of the complaint and the appeal available that is all covered in the employee awareness training just because it is reconciled it is not an admission of guilt say for example you know you know the woman who has filed a complaint now she feels that you know i mean why to drag it on and all say for example you have sent a joke to uh, to the complaint and you have sent a non veg joke to her by mistake it has gone and you tell the, this woman has filed a complaint and you say listen you know i really didn't mean to do it i you know it it was a mistake and all and this woman feels it's okay i mean he's a genuine it's genuine and she says okay that's fine and she gives a letter saying that i am willing for a reconciliation provided he gives a letter of apology so if once you agree that okay fine i'm sorry it was a mistake and all like give a letter of apology that's it the matter is over the document is signed that the matter has been reconciled the complainant signs the the respondent signs and the matter is over so it's not necessarily an admission of guilt is just that you want to finish the whole matter ipc the question is you know how serious is the matter it will one will have to look at the facts and circumstances of the case but generally what happens is it's a recon reconciliation will only happen when the issue is not something very serious now there are certain conditions where reconciliation doesn't happen a if money is the basis of a settlement like you go and tell this lady listen i'm going to give you a big bazaar voucher for 5000 rupees you know why don't you just withdraw the matter and if she you know if the ic gets to know that this is what you've done they will not allow a reconciliation that's one secondly in case if the offense is of a serious nature even though the woman is okay for a reconciliation ic will not allow a reconciliation because they feel that it needs to be it the inquiry needs to be conducted and the person needs to be punished so if the offense is of a serious nature then it will not permit reconciliation so these are the two case conditions where reconciliation is not permitted even if the person asks for it